Hello and welcome to the appointment. I'm Pranjal Sharma. Joining me today for a conversation is Harsh Chitale, who's the Vice Chairman and Managing Director of Philips Lighting India. Harsh, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. Harsh, it's an interesting time that we're having this conversation because Philips Lighting is now an independent company uh, uh, as against the undivided Philips, which had a range of products. So. Uh, I think many people still are not aware of the significance of the change. Can we begin by uh, you explaining to us what uh, is Philips Lighting all about and how is it different from what it was earlier? Okay. So, uh, uh, Philips uh, in September 2014 globally announced that it wants to uh, split uh, its lighting segment into an independent company, so which was almost a year and a half back. Uh, thereafter, this entire process of uh, separating out lighting business into independent companies in, uh, across these dozens of markets happened. February 2016 is when Philips Lighting became an independent company, Philips Lighting BV. Uh, and consequent to that, even in India, we uh, split the business in two companies and Philips Lighting India Limited is now the new home of lighting business in India. Globally, Philips Lighting BV is subsequently also listed on Amsterdam Stock Exchange in May. Uh, and now it's a, a globally traded stock uh, as Philips Lighting BV. Uh, in uh, uh, India, we've been there for almost 85 years. Uh, Philips has been in lighting for 125 years. We in fact had our 125th anniversary of uh, Philips bulb uh, that came out. Right. And uh, over 85 years, uh, uh, we are there in every part of the value chain when it comes to lighting. So how will uh, Philips Lighting now uh, approach uh, India and how will your work change now that you are an independent entity mm -hmm. and uh, you are focused on, on uh, delivering the needs of India? Yeah, so the work as far as our customers or ecosystem is concerned doesn't change. You know, you were always focused on customers and lighting was a, a significant part of the business earlier so had uh, operated independently. Uh, what, however, being independent also offers us now is agility because, uh, as you know, in today's world, uh, technologies are changing very, very rapidly and uh, the pace of change demands that as a full end-to-end -end ecosystem, you are able to respond to it very quickly. And uh, uh, now being independent, uh, single sector focused company gives us that uh, agility. Uh, our brand promise now becomes very lighting focused as opposed to being uh, diffused. So uh, agility, focus uh, becomes sharper and uh, we hope with that we can uh, serve our customers better and further expand our market leadership. Is there also the need for you to maybe uh, work on India specific uh, uh, lighting uh, mm -hmm. uh, products? Is yeah. it uh, distinct from what you would do in other markets? So it's a great question. So uh, in India what we sell is almost 93% designed in India and made in India. And to that extent, we are actually, we jokingly say, we are more local than most of the local lighting companies. So, uh, and that's emerged over this 85 year history. So we have two very large uh, R&D centers, one in Bangalore and uh, one in Noida where we are sitting, where we design products that are specifically designed keeping in mind India's lighting needs. Just to give you one small example, uh, we have very wide voltage fluctuation. The rest of the world doesn't experience that. Now, that needs lights that can withstand such a wide range of fluctuation. And uh, that's one thing, for example, that we make sure happens in every light that we design and launch in India. And this has been happening for a while. This has been happening for a while. This center has been there now for uh, seven, eight years. Noida center has been there for over uh, 10 years. So um, uh, we've been designing products for India for uh, over 10 years now. And on top of that, we also have two very large factories, uh, which not only make for India, but also export out of India. One in Baroda and uh, one in Mohali. So uh, we make products for India, uh, design for them, uh, we s design for also overseas customers and also make for overseas can, customers. Can you uh, share some numbers or figures in terms of what is the size of uh, Philips Lighting now and uh, now uh, under your leadership, what kind of goals and targets are you setting for, uh, for yourself? So we are not, uh, let's say, a public listed company in India and we are not a segment that we report globally. So uh, what however I can share with you is what's our last published information uh, in our annual report in 2014-15. So it's a year old data. 
uh, lighting segment reported uh, 3,440 crore uh, revenue. Um, that's 14, 15 uh, figure. Uh, the new annual report is due any day. And <laughs> right. But what kind of growth are you are you seeing in India? Uh, and now with the independent uh, existence, mm -hmm. do you see uh, a higher trajectory of growth for yourself? Yeah. So lighting industry as a whole right now is going through a major transformation. So what's happening is there are parts of lighting that are going to go away, which is our conventional lighting, which was our energy guzzler and LED lighting and even more so connected LED lighting where light become like a IOT. You know, it has a sensor and it can be remotely controlled, controlled over internet uh, and can do many more things beyond lighting where lighting just becomes, uh, illumination just becomes one of its value and it offers many more values. Now that part of the business is growing in very, very high double digits and triple digits. So that's a high growth trajectory of the business. But simultaneously then there is a traditional conventional lighting which has existed for decades. That's going down. So we are going through right now that kind of an inflection where one part of the business is going down, other part of the business is uh, uh, growing. Interesting part is now already the growing part of our business is more than 50%, which is this new age lighting, connected, digital, LED. So uh, who, who are the users for this uh, connected lighting? Uh, you know, because again, you, you are serving individual customers, you're looking at institutional uh, customers, you're looking at uh, maybe government bodies, uh, yeah. uh, those who want to uh, light monuments, yeah. uh, big installations. So mm -hmm. it's a range of activities, as I can assume. Yeah. So where does this fit in? So all the three actually have uh, usage of uh, energy efficient LED or connected lighting. So uh, when, you, when you go to consumers, you know, we have an offering uh, called Philips Hue. Uh, that offering uh, allows consumers to uh, change color of the light, intensity of the light, make them on and off, uh, sync them with internet, with TV, with, uh, and if you're watching a program which has thunderstorm, uh, you know, the light will change color to make you feel that you are in a thunderstorm to give you that immersive experience. Uh, if your uh, child wants to study, and there is a particular setting of light that helps you concentrate better. Now that's the kind of research that Philips has done. So you select concentrate setting and the light color and intensity goes to a level which is best for studying. Now those kind of technologies are now available to the consumer and we've introduced that few months back. Uh, globally, how do, you, how do you sell it? Because some of these products are sold uh, through institutional networks, through maybe the uh, the person or, or the uh, body which is building the house, the apartment, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. the office. Uh, or are you targeting the individual consumer? Yes. So for the, uh, lighting is largely a post-construction purchase, mm -hmm. and uh, also a lot of lights gets uh, bought as a replacement. You had some light, and now you want to upgrade to better lights, or they failed, and hence you want to buy newer lights. Uh, so we go directly to consumer, we go through a wide distribution network that we have. We also have uh, about 200 odd Philips light lounges, which are Philips branded stores. We also sell online, uh, we have tie-ups with uh, organized trade like chromas of the world.